Now that we've finished eating, we're sitting around in the dining room, halfway asleep, and the minute we'll be starting out and giving them a little program. Margie and Dale, let's go. Do it. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear. Mom, how would you like to sing a little brown jug? Or the old gray mare. Okay, down by the old mill string. Come on. Once you start it, bud, you start it. Peter, not on that. 
Yeah, Jimmy knows it. Okay, Jimmy. Sing Silent Night. Can't hear him. Here's Richard. Here's Willie. Helen. Is that all of it? What's the name of that black? Brown Prairie Blue. Okay, let's sing it. <coughs> Come on, boys, take a look at Sue. She don't wear no, yes, she do. Lord, Lord, you got the brown fairy blue. That'll be enough of that, woman. No, go ahead. Continue. Come along, boys, take a look at Kate. She's riding around in a Ford V8. Lord, Lord, I got the brown fairy blue. Good. Good. 
Now let's have a little reading from man. About the night before Christmas, not even nothing stirred, not even a horse stirred. <laughs> it was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their bed, while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. But what, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeers, with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now dashing, now dancing, now prancing and vixen, on common, on Cuban, on down and blissing, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. You want me to say? Yeah, fine. <laughs> As dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they met an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top the course as they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew on my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He came with a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bow, he was bow. dressed on fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a pillar just opening his pack. <laughs> his eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. <coughs> He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and gave a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Then I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay, Yola. Yeah. Uh, this isn't a Christmas piece, but it's uh, during Landon's campaign. Mary had a little lamb. It surely was a glutton. And every time it wagged its tail, it showed its Landon button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mom. This is Christmas Eve, 1950. We're all here together. My 
four big boys and their wives and babies. We're all so happy to be together, and we hope that we'll see many more happy Christmases together. Merry <coughs> Christmas to one and all. Very good. Very good. Hey, Dale. Carl, do you know a four-letter word that made Franklin Delano Roosevelt famous? This word ends with a P. Beer ends with a P. <laughs> I would like to recite to you folks a little poem that took me weeks to learn. I hope that I can say it without making a mistake. The spring has sprung, the grass has riz. Please tell me where at the posies is. Thank you. All I wish to say is a Merry Christmas to everybody, and I only hope we all can be again together next year. Thank you. Well, I hope tomorrow's a nice day, and we all don't get snowbound here again for another four weeks. <laughs> okay. Okay, Margie. How about you, Sam? Merry Christmas, everyone, and may y'all come to Maryland sometime for a nice Maryland turkey. I will do that. Bob? Yeah, say something. Say something. Well, since this is my turn to say something, I'm just a little bit overjoyed, and it's pretty hard for me to say what I really think. I'm glad that we've all been together, that we've had plenty to eat and a good time. I hope that we can enjoy this kind of a service many years. Good night. Jenny? Hey, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Can you say hi yet? Hi. 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 Let's see. Okay, Richard. You want to say something in the mic? Yeah. Merry Christmas and to all and to all a good night. How about you, Willie? Oh, I have, I have, a, I have a poem to say. Right. Roses is red and dogs are blue and Christmas, uh, Christmas is white and I love you. Well, that's fine. I guess that winds up our program for today. Good night, everybody. Good night.